Well, we're back, and here's another cool transformation video I've got for you guys. And this one's cool because we're going down the road of cool foods, cool recipes, because this lady preps things like nobody else does. And she's got some cool approaches to developing some interesting meals here and there along your journey. So a big trend I'm seeing, the gastric sleeve, right? They'll go through surgery, and usually it helps them cut out the foods they need to cut out and control their appetite if they struggled to do this beforehand if they tried everything in the book and nothing seemed to be working. So Chelsea decided to go through this weight loss surgery back in 2020. Before that, she really tried everything before going into that surgery. She'd been overweight her entire life and she tried every diet in the book. So she never really knew how to change her weight and so she underwent the surgery because her cousin had gotten it and it seemed like something that would work for her. A lot of times people think that the gastric sleeve kind of only applies to people who are really morbidly obese, like 600 pounds or up, but it's not true. You can get the gastric sleeve just to, to make it absolutely certain that you are gonna lose the weight you want to lose in the long run. She said she still enjoys her favorite foods. She just likes making them healthier now. She's lost 90 pounds, right? And she's maintained it for one year, which is absolutely incredible. Her starting weight was 231, so now she's down to 141. She's five foot two inches and she's 33 years old, right? And she really just wanted to be healthier. That's what got her into it. She had done everything up to a certain point and decided to go down the surgery route. One thing I didn't know that she educated me on is that when you go through the gastric sleeve surgery, they cut off about 80% of your stomach. So you have to live life with the stomach size of a toddler after you get the surgery. So naturally your appetite is completely different once you get that. Now that doesn't mean that she's not being creative with her food and, and not eating the same stuff she used to. She just has a lock on the portion control now that she's got that surgery. So she can sit there and experiment in a way that she probably never could before. And she's got to maintain this health for her children, right? Being this way for her kids is probably her ultimate motivator, staying healthy, staying alive for them, and being able to be the best version of herself for them. Her tips are to do a lot of crock pot thing so if you guys are looking for the steel on a good meal crock pot it right she does low carb versions of tacos burgers pizzas mississippi roast right a lot of those crock pot meals she also does steak chicken shrimp lots of the standard proteins that we find in so many things but she does a lot of cool snacks as well she does she makes jalapeno poppers she makes sausage pickle and cheese appetizers and salami cream cheese green onions there's a lot right here she does a lot she's definitely a foodie with a craving but she has figured out how to work her cravings into a healthy lifestyle as far as workouts are concerned she focused a lot more on pilates and yoga and that kind of thing, which by the way, I just started doing a lot of Pilates at Hotworks, shameless plug for Hotworks, but they're great. And honestly, if you can weave in Pilates and yoga, you're gonna find that it's a new stimulus that your body is probably gonna respond to in a way you weren't expecting if you've spent a lot of time lifting weights and doing a more traditional approach to exercise. She loves the way she looks, she feels in control, and what more could you ask for in the end? That's it, that's the transformation. It's a quick video, but that's Chelsea. Go check her out, she's really cool. Uh, she's got a great story for you guys to latch on to, and another cool gastric sleeve bypass story because it's turning me into a big gastric sleeve advocate. So do it if you feel like you've lost focus or you don't know how to get started on a workout journey again. But that's it. Go check out averagebrosfitmedia.com. Goodbye.